Leave the baby in the car. Always take the back seat. Don't leave it at home till it's old enough. Catch buddy. Uh, congratulations to the baby. Um, you know, I've known you all my life basically, and you know, seeing with this is really surprising. Um, but I hope it all works out well for you, and uh, congratulations once again. You know, I hope these years to come are well, and you know, I hope not too stressful, but you know, hope it's just nice for you. Yeah. Okay. Hey Ashley, I remember when you were born, you are my baby, I wouldn't even let your mom hold you. I can't believe you're having your own baby, you gonna make me cry. You're not old enough to have your own baby. I wish you the best of luck, and just remember that it's the hardest thing you're ever going to do, but it's going to be the best thing you ever do. And the baby's going to love you, and you're going to love him. Congratulations. Love you. Hey, Ashley Ray. Um, I really don't have any advice for you, honey, because I know that you're going to be a wonderful mom. So, if you need it, we're here. Love you. I don't really have much advice for you because I don't have kids, but I know that you're going to be a great mom, and it's kind of weird for me making this video because the last memory I have is us running around with hay bales and stuff, and I guess just teaching me not be afraid of anything. I remember you used to be terrified of storms at my house, but don't be a stranger. If you need anything, I'm always here. Don't be afraid to reach out. I'll always be there for you, and I love you. Ashley Ray, I just want to tell you this is going to be the biggest joy of your life. I'm trying to not cry. He's going to be beautiful. You're going to love him more than you've ever loved anything, I promise you. As soon as you become a mommy, honey, you're always a mommy. Always. I love you. If you ever need anything, well, I'll be right here for you. It takes a village. I see Ray Ray, my little Ray of Sunshine. I am so happy for you. You're just a baby girl, but you've always impressed me. So I know that you'll be able to do this. 
that you'll be the best mommy you could possibly be. I'm so happy for you, and I'll do anything I can to help. Anytime you need anything, you call Dada. Um, and you grew up so fast, and you're so very smart. And I thought things would be different, but God always has a plan. So I'm happy for you. I love you. I can't wait to meet Liam Maxwell. And I just like seeing you this happy. And bless little Corey. And just pray for both of you. And welcome to motherhood, girl. You're going to tear it up. You're going to be great. I love you so much. Oh, she's getting a picture. All right, um, um, am I talking to Ashley? Because this is ridiculous. She needs to edit it. Ashley Ray, love you so much. And the very first instant I heard that you were having a baby, my first thought was, oh, when I heard about it, is she happy? Is she happy? And God bless you for being happy that you were having a baby because there are lots of people who wouldn't have been, and you're having your child. That meant everything the first second. So. From that moment, I was I was bought I was I was sold on Liam Maxwell, and I know he's going to be amazing. He's given mom such joy already. Uh, great nanny Aggie, uh, you have given us such joy. We are so proud of you. You're beautiful, and honey, I just saw you walk walking that baby bump. Uh huh. It was looking good. Carol's checking to see if this thing's recording. It's probably not. Is it recording, Miss Carol? Okay, now. Um, what I want to say is um, raise up uh, Maxwell with absolute love because I know you will. Um, and know that he is right now being formed in your womb. Jesus formed him in your womb. You, um, there's a verse that says you were knit in your mother's womb. So, you know, even though that's a rock solid, cool baby bump looking good, Jesus is knitting Maxwell Max, together in your womb. And he has his heart and love for him and a plan for him. And the major thing is, he wants to spend eternity with Max. He wants to spend eternity with all of us. So what I'm saying to you, young ladies, is love Jesus because he loves you with his own heart because he had his heart to stop beating so yours would be eternal. Um, now I'm saying something so serious, and I'm also noticing that my eyebrows are really ridiculous. Okay, get a zoom in here. You see this piece of tape? I'm holding up my eyebrows because my eyelids are bad. So yeah, that's what's happened to me. All right, but I love you so much, um, and I'm so excited for Nanny Jo and um, Aunt Callie and all your great aunts and uncles. Uh, bless you, love you, praying for you, praying for that little fella. Hugs. Okay, now I'm going to carry on because, you know, girl's over there taking pictures and she's just leaving me here. So I'm not going to have no bed space, ma. Oh, teach him bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Yeah, teach him French. Yeah, here I am again. Look, I'm just stranded. Carol, I see a song. That's the night, that's the last one out in your... I'm sorry. Okay, love you. Bye. Congratulations, Ashley, on the new baby boy. This will be one of the most wonderful years of your life. Congratulations. Uh, Y'all got a long, hard road ahead. <laughs> uh, I love you all. And y'all take care of yourself and the baby. Hey, babe. Well, I don't, there's a lot to say and I don't know how to describe it, so I'm glad we made it this far and I can't wait to see the journey ahead. It's going to be excellent. I'm glad I get to make the journey with you. I was kind of put on the spot on this, so I really don't know what all to go on about, but there's plenty I want to talk to you about and plenty I want us to live, learn and see. I'm kind of getting distracted right now too, but... I'm definitely looking at you each time though, so, I don't know what more to say, but I love you and I'm glad that 
we're going to have our future together. Raising kids, raising your kids. The kids are always right, you got to remember that. You just spend all your money on your kids. Be raising them and the old man. <laughs> Don't forget, you got more than one to raise. And I don't, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, they always said I would be first, but Mom did. <laughs> she always banked it on me. But I am very excited to be an aunt, something I've always wanted. <laughs> I'm kind of still in disbelief, to be honest, but once he's here, I'm going to spoil him to death. Uh, the advice I would give you is just don't give up no matter how hard it gets. Um, you got me and mom right here behind you through everything, and we'll be here. Love you, bud. I guess the best advice that I could give. <laughs> Everybody always says sleep when the baby sleeps. That's not going to work because you're going to have too much stuff to do while the baby's asleep, so don't bank on that. Um, you won't get a lot of sleep, but it's okay because you'll have a little tiny baby child that you love so much. Um, have lots of patience, lots and lots of patience, and um, you can work. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Okay, Kara is having me on video and you know I never get on video, but here we go. All I know to say to you is, you're going to make mistakes, do the best you can, and most importantly, love your baby. Uh, keep this baby about Jesus, that's the most important. Always remember you're my baby, and I love you and I'm very proud of you, and I'll always be here for you. So. You can do this. You're going to be a great mom. I love you. Hey, honey, I love you. Congratulations, old grandfather. <laughs> I love you, little girl. You'll always be my baby. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you turned into a beautiful young lady. I can't believe you. You're a young woman going to be a mommy. Six pounds and nine ounces You're still in the way Looking up at me Like I have all the answers I hope I have the ones you need I've never really done this Now I know what scared is Sometimes I'll protect you From everything that's wrong Other times I'll let you just find out on your own. Okay, come here and be in the camera. Every time I'll be nowhere. You're gonna fly with every dream you chase. You're gonna cry. Maybe bigger. I'm 
want to get pregnant again. <laughs> you got a lot of honey. <laughs> and so many ways. <laughs> suffer through some of my mistakes Lord knows I'll be trying oh, to give you what it takes what it takes to know the difference between getting by and living cause anything worth doing is worth doing all the way y'all have cake just know you have, you have to live with <laughs> all the choices that you make so make sure you're always giving Way more than you're taking You're gonna fly With every dream you chase You're gonna cry But know that that's okay Sometimes life's not fair But if you just take <laughs> Things work out like they should Life has no guarantees But always love by me You're gonna be Someone's everything you're gonna see Just what you are to me Mom, you're the show and tell person I'm trying to talk as least as possible, keep from saying this word. Oh. You give grace and give forgiveness. Not seven times seventy, but seven times seventy-one. And when you have a child, those four worlds you call a house take on a life of its own When you bring them home You will cry and you will laugh When they hurt it cuts you in half It's your flesh and bone And year after year Pictures feel page after page They never really grow Still your baby at any age the, people with necklaces. the first time you hold them It's like you see God smile What a smile When you Fume and gasoline rain on your perfect world. I'm losing it again. Curfews are often broken, thank yous aren't spoken. He's got the keys to that old Dodge, and she's wearing a corsage and her mama's pearls. Pictures fill page after page They never really grow up Still your baby at any age And the first time you hold them It's like you feel God's smile What a smile Yay! Okay. 
Thank you guys. Alright, she opened her last one. Yeah. And all the necklaces. I wonder. You've got at least a million pictures of that smile. Ashley, as I sit here, uh, thinking about what I want to say to you, my mind goes back to Psalms 139, and that happens to be one of my favorite chapters in the Bible, because it talks about God creating us, and how well He knows us. It says that um, He formed our inward parts in our mother's womb. He talks about how He knows our thoughts from afar. He knows the words we're going to speak before they're even formed in our mouth. He knows our DNA. And He loves us. It also says that He um, has wrote our days out before us that are fashioned just for us because He knows each one of us are different. And He knows what is the perfect plan for each one of our lives. So my advice to you is to Look to Him for guidance because He knows Max. He knows you. He knows the perfect plan for your life and His life. And He loves you. And He's your Father. He's your Father. He's your Creator. He's Max's Father and His Creator. And He loves you so much. He won't steer you wrong. Who could ever love you more? The nearest thing to heaven, you're my angel from above.